One trick that I like to use to, when I shoot in a dimly lit gymnasium is panning. So panning is when you have your camera, let's say I'm, I'm shooting this way. The action will go from left to right or right to, right to left, whatever the case may be. And panning is when you, let's say your shutter speed and your, and your settings are, you've, you have your ISO set at 1600. You have your shutter speed set at 500th of a second. And you have your f-stop at um, 5.6. And you take a couple pictures and there's just not enough light there. Panning is when you're going to slow your shutter speed way down from let's say 500th of a second to say 100th of a second. And the trick to that is, is when you focus on, the, on whatever subject, let's say basketball, you're going to uh, focus on the person dribbling the basketball. You have to follow them, focus on them, and just follow them as they go left to right, right to left, it doesn't matter. But you're basically showing, you're showing, slowing the shutter speed way down so you have more light on the sensor, but you're following them with the camera. You'll, you'll probably have to shoot anywhere from 30 to 50 images to, to get one good one. Um, that's just how painting goes, but but you will find that you will get a couple of extra stops of light in a uh, very uh, dimly lit gymnasium. So panning, give it a try. Now painting does not work when they're going towards you or away from you, okay, because you're not moving the camera. So panning is only when they're going this way or this way um, to the camera. Not this way, not up and back, but left and right or right to left.